Zelda Noli. Um, I am here at 6804 Geyser. Uh, I just wanted to give you a look at the outside of the home. It's really pretty. Nice kind of grand looking home. Um, I'll give you a shot of the street too. So this is the house next door. This is what the neighborhood looks like. It's really nice over here. It's very quiet. Nice homes, all in very good shape. And then this is the corner. So I guess Yampa and Geyser are here. Yeah, I'm quiet. Look on the side of the house for you. So this is the side of the house. The AC is over here. It's got some siding, it looks to be in good shape. And then here's the AC. See if I can tell how old it is. It is uh, 2011, so it's about 10 years old. Brick all looks good. Don't see any big cracks, no issues over there. All right, we're gonna head inside. They're just wrapping up an open house, so there's a few people in here. Um, so when you walk in, so there's a lot of tile downstairs. It's really pretty. I think it's 18 by 18 inch tile. Looks really nice. Eight foot ceilings. Does still have popcorn on the ceilings. Um, but this is nice. Um, big open area. So you could really use this for, um, I think it was originally intended to be formal living here, formal dining here. And then there's another living space here. And then upstairs, there's actually a game room. So there's a lot of a lot of living space in this home, but obviously you could use it for um, whatever you want. Um, all the bedrooms are upstairs. There's a lot of, like I said, a lot of living space downstairs. Um, so this would be the den. Um, there is not a fireplace here. They've got a little bow fireplace. But this would be the den area. Nice and bright, all the windows. And then the kitchen's very open. So I think this is intended to be the breakfast area here, living space, and then like I said, living space this direction too. So a lot of space downstairs. Kitchen's nice. Got the island, I'd probably put a few um, bar stools along there, but pretty granite. Cabinetry tree there. Gas stove. And then they've got a pantry here. Um, and then this goes to the garage. So two car garage, like this panel here. Pretty standard two car garage. Um, does have the electric opener. Um, and then water heater is in the garage. It looks to be in pretty good shape. Doesn't look very old. Oh, and this one too, they are putting a new roof on in two day, around Tuesday actually. So brand new roof um, will be on this house. I'm gonna give you a look in the backyard while we're over here. Um, so there's not a ton of space on the sides. Um, on the side yard they've got kind of fenced off which you really could push the fence back if you wanted to include some of the side yard um, but it's pretty good size a couple of planters there I mean this yard's big enough you could put a pool in if you wanted to and then this back patio it's not covered but the patio is really huge so it'd be really nice to add like a pergola or some kind of covering to this but they've already got the concrete down, so this would be really nice with the pergola added. The back of the house. They've got solar screens on the windows, which is nice because that minimizes the sun. Um, that comes in and keeps your utility bills a little bit lower. Yeah. Okay. And then there's so downstairs there is a half bath here, and then there nice all the paints really neutral color in here is in good shape 
Like I said, the tile is nice too. And then you've got this extra space over here, which I think is a good office. Could be a little game room if you wanted. There's no closet, so it's not really a bedroom, um, but nice bonus space. This house has a lot of, of kind of bonus space in it. You've got two living spaces downstairs, a game room upstairs, and then you've got this extra living room here. So um, under the stairs, there's a little bit of storage here too. I'm gonna head upstairs. So upstairs we've got um, a game room, all the bedroom, well, four bedrooms, and then two bathrooms. So at the top of the stairs, there's this game room, which they've obviously used it as a media room. Some attic access there. Nice big room. I mean, you could easily get a pool table and a couch in here if you wanted. And then there's kind of three. So there's three rooms, well, three doorways off. So master here secondary bedroom with the Jack and Jill bath here and then there's another room over here with the utility so we'll start with the master so all carpet upstairs the carpet's in good shape this is the master it's good size you could easily get a king bed and a few pieces of furniture in here it's got a fan still has popcorn on the ceiling and then the bathroom is nice so First, you've got the shower. I think this would be even prettier if you put like a glass door across the, the front. It's really pretty shower. I hate to cover it with that curtain, but that's what they have right now. Looks to be in pretty good shape. And then you've got a tub here. The vanity only has one sink right now, but there's obviously enough room where you could add a second one if you wanted. Toilet back here and then walk-in closet. So they've got some shelves built in there. Across the back. It's a nice size. Oh, you're good. Sorry, let me get out of you guys' way. Okay, so that was the master space. And then over here, so we've got bedroom, bathroom, bedroom. So secondary bedroom. This is a smaller room. I would say in this bedroom, you'd probably want to get like a full bed or a twin bed and maybe one piece of furniture. It's not huge. Um, and then you've got the secondary bathroom. Everything seems to be in really good shape. I mean, there was a couple of spots here where they had a towel rack that you could patch up, but or paint, I guess. But everything seems clean, good shape. Not a lot of work that needs to be done. This is the other secondary bedroom, about the same size as the last one we saw. No fan in this one. Standard closet. Um, I don't see any drywall cracks, nothing that makes me concerned for foundation movement here, which is good. And in this direction, we've got the fourth bedroom. This might be a tad bit bigger than the other two, but not much. They're all about the same size. Probably like a 10 by 10 room. Another standard closet. So the bedrooms are not huge, but with all the extra living space, especially the game room for kid stuff, you'd have plenty of room to, to keep it out in the game room if you wanted. Um, and then this is really nice, the utility room. The washer and dryer connections are upstairs since all the bedrooms are upstairs. It's nice to not have to trek up and down the stairs. There's a window here. So that is the house. I hope the video is helpful. Hope you guys like it. it looks like a Good house, solid house. I don't see any foundation issues. Um, roof's gonna be brand new. Um, everything looks to be in good shape. It's definitely move in ready. A lot of living space, pretty good size backyard. Um, looks, like a, looks like a good house. All the bedrooms are upstairs, um, if you don't mind that. But yeah, good house.
right, you guys take care.